I did it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danner. I'm a computer engineering student from Huntsville, Alabama. When I was a kid, my family built this shed in the hills of southern Tennessee. It sat dormant for nearly 20 years and began to deteriorate. I'm currently on a mission to restore the shed and convert it into an amazing tiny house. With the help of my dad, I'm learning the basics of construction, restoring the land, and documenting our story. This is Abandoned Shed to Tiny House. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since the last update video so I just wanted to do a little update and let you guys know how the shed project has been going. So we have been working on the project for a little bit but I've also been in school. Good news is I just finished for the semester and passed all my classes so now we can work on the project over the summer and hopefully we can get some more videos out for you guys. In the last video we had our concrete poured and I never showed you how the concrete turned out or removing the form so I'm gonna play a little bit of video from that now and just show you how our concrete turned out. Enjoy. <laughs> We just finished pulling off all those concrete forms off the edge and it turned out really good. There's a couple places where it's not perfect and you might notice in the corner it's a little high but we're planning on backfilling that in the future and yeah I think it's just going to be great. In some places it's super smooth and one thing I thought was kind of cool is it kind of kept the shape of the wood so when you're looking at it at the side it looks like a rep like the concrete looks like a replica of the wood which I thought was cool but yeah now we are pretty much ready for framing so we're gonna be doing that here in the next few episodes I saw a couple people asking about this back corner over here um, if you remember we had a snake crawling up under there and there was just this big void underneath this corner so when they were pouring the concrete we got the extra concrete that was overflowing over on the side and shoved it up in there so it happened because of a water issue from the roof that was coming down also rotted some of this wood that we're going to need to replace pull off and replace when we put the siding in and since we'll our final grade back here will be at about this level we're going to backfill all of this since that will be our final grade it won't really matter anyway but just out of an abundance of caution we and because we had all this extra material instead of wasting it and having to break it up with a sledgehammer it was a lot easier to shovel it wet over here. So yeah, our concrete looks awesome and I think it's gonna be a good foundation for the additions. So we've actually also been working on some other side projects at the house. One of the things we did is we went to a auction just for fun and we found some really cheap lawn mowers and restored them. So I learned some about restoring lawn mowers. Another project we've been working on is a finishing mower, which is a implement for a tractor and you attach it and just go over all the land and it cuts it like a mower. We're on 20 acres of land out in the middle of Tennessee and clearing the land is really important to us. Just keeping all the vines off the trees and clear it out, not letting it get out of control. So yeah, I've learned some stuff with stripping paint on a farm implement, 
repainting it. And just for fun, we, we filled it in with Bondo and got it really smooth just for experimenting. Now, the other thing about living out in the middle of nowhere in Tennessee is we don't even have power here. Every time we want to run power tools or turn on the lights, we have to pull out our Harbor Freight generator. We wanted a solution so we didn't have to pull out a generator every time we wanted to just turn on some lights. And we also wanted to be able to run a security system. So the big news here today is we are installing solar at the shed. So we haven't invested in a huge system just yet, but we do have a couple hundred watt panels, a rich solar charge controller, and a couple lead acid batteries. It's really just a temporary solution so that we can charge some batteries, turn on the lights, and run our security system. And then anytime we want to run our power tools, we'll just pull out our generator. And we're also thinking about creating a system that'll be able to swap over to the generator automatically from solar power, but I'm sure we'll get into that in the future. So the next video is gonna be a full breakdown on our solar system. And I do wanna give a shout out to Will Prouse on YouTube. We've been watching a lot of his videos and he's been super helpful with what to choose for our solar system. And we are gonna be going with his recommendation of the SOK lithium iron phosphate batteries, which will be a lot better than the lead acid batteries. Okay, so here's the solar system that we have put together. The basic idea is you have a couple panels that go into this charge controller. This manages the power from the panels and then charges the batteries. And these are lead acid batteries, which we're gonna be replacing with SOK lithium iron phosphate batteries. And then from there, these batteries power this inverter, which converts the DC power of the batteries to AC like you have in your wall outlets in your house. So that's just the basic overview. And since it's really hot up here, I can come grab this big fan that we got and plug it in. And just like that, <laughs> it's nice and cool up here. So yeah, we don't even have to start a generator to run this fan, which is very convenient. Make sure you stick around for the next episode because we're gonna be doing a full overview on our system and why we chose everything we chose. And hopefully I can teach you a little something about solar and uh, make it a little more of a informative video. And then after that, we're gonna be working on framing the house. Uh, the one unfortunate thing is, as you know, wood prices are really high right now. So it definitely has gone way out of our original budget to frame this thing, but we're gonna figure out a way to make it work and then yeah, frame the house. So I think that's gonna be a wrap for the update video and I will see you guys next time in the solar video. See ya.